Welcome back to How to Escape. This is Rarina, and today we're going to be talking about jack stands, where to place them in the car and what to look for, and the type of jacks to use in certain places. Let's get started. So here you have the three most common types of jacks that you'll encounter when trying to lift a vehicle. On the right, you have your standard scissor jack that comes with your spare tire. In the back, you have a floor jack, and on the left, you have jack stands. Now each of these serves a different purpose. The jack stands are meant to support the car when it's already up in the air because it has notched teeth that keep it from falling back down as a safety precaution. The floor jack in the back is meant to rapidly lift and then lower, but not be a permanent support for your vehicle when you're underneath it. The scissor jack is a bit of a hybrid. It can do a little bit of both, but it's not meant to be a long-term solution either. Although the scissor jack can lift up a corner of your car when replacing a spare tire, it's best to still be able to lower it onto jack stands when possible. So let's compare the contact points for each of these jacks. Your scissor jack is meant to fit around the pinch welds of your subframe. Your floor jack is meant to make contact with durable, flat surfaces of the underside of your car. And the jack stands are meant to do the same. But now where do we put them all? So as you can see, here is the arrow notating the jack point location that you'll find in your manual, and it points to that cavity right there. Now you'll notice the pinch weld coming all the way down this way. That's a pinch welded subframe. You'll also notice that there's a flat surface on this side of the pinch weld that you can't always see from the outside. If you were to just use a flat floor jack, you would come up and hit this pinch weld and bend it. As you can see that there are some bends that are already in here. If you're just going to be using your scissor jack to replace a spare tire quickly on the side of the road, you slide it in place and crank it up, no big deal, because you're doing a pretty quick job. However, if you're going to have your car up in the air for an extended period of time, you're going to want to use jack stands. But then, how do these two different heads compete for that space? Well, you can see the shoulder on the top of the scissor jack sticks up, and it will actually make contact with this top surface up here on the other side of the pinch weld. So now what we do is we use our scissor jack, and we're going to scoot it back maybe about eight inches or so, just so that we have enough room for our floor jack to scoot in from the side and plug into that cavity. So, let's get started. So now that we have the car up, we have enough room to place our floor jack in place. And now we lower it down. out of the way and pull it out. And there's your jack stand in the correctly noted spot. And lastly, if you really want to use your floor jack on the manual notated lifting points, in order to not damage the pinch welds of the subframe, what you can do is take a simple hockey puck you pick up from Walmart, chop it down the middle, and you'll have two halves that you can plug into the cavity to support the flat surface of the floor jack. Alright, so the reasons the magnets help because you can go anywhere along the inside of the pinch subframe and stick it on there to still leave room for your your jack stand. You position your floor jack and go. And then lower it as needed, of course. All right, so that basically wraps up our video today, talking about jack stands, the different types and the different places to put them when lifting up our escapes. Again, this uh, cut hockey puck idea with the magnets, pretty slick, saw that on the forums. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions to make this better, please post it in the comments section on the YouTube video. If you thought it was helpful, please like it, share it, and always, if you haven't subscribed yet to the YouTube channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button here in the corner. And also, shameless plug, I'm making these escape t-shirts if anyone wants some. You can pick one up from the store in the How to Escape website, also linked in the YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.